Hi guys, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue. And today you find us just arriving at our fourth stop, I think, on my solo van trip. I say solo, but Bella's still here. She's uh, sitting in the front seat wanting to get out. We've just arrived and we are at Woody Kiln Farm. I'm the only person here. I think that it's a uh, Caravan and Motorhome CL. Um, yeah, and it's on a farm, and it's not far from Haverford West, and the coast's 15 minute walk away. But I can walk Bella in this field here so she can have a little play with the frisbee later on if she needs it. We've obviously just walked quite a long way, uh, having just been to Parafundal Bay, which if you watched the previous video, you would have seen. If you haven't, you can catch up later. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get the deck chairs out the other side, and we're going to sit outside and have a cup of tea. The kettle is on chair is out ready to look at that can't be bad eh i thought i would be slightly more nervous than i am i wasn't brave enough to wild camp this time i thought first first time out i ought to know where i'm going and not be sort of scared of not having anywhere to stay at night and things like that i have got the dog with me so obviously <laughs> the dog who can't keep her eyes open bless her not only has she been poorly, but we've done two big walks. I think that might be me too, <laughs> in a minute. So I'm enjoying it, uh, even more than I thought I would, to be honest. I, I was looking forward to it, but a little bit apprehensive and nervous as well. But so far, the drive's been fairly easy. I mean, the roads are narrow and I wouldn't have done it in the Heimer. I wouldn't expect a dog to do it in the Heimer either, to be fair. I haven't been to any major towns. I have literally gone from beach to beach so far. So maybe I will just carry on up the coast and head off to the campsite tomorrow. Maybe just drive around the coast a little bit more in the drizzle. <laughs> you know me, we always get rain. Anyway, I'll cont contemplate that a little bit more. But for now, I am going to say good night and I'll see you in the morning. Morning, guys. Uh, not a very good night's sleep last night. Nothing to do with the campsite. The campsite's very peaceful considering it's got houses sort of just over on the side there. Um, but it was really, really windy and it kept waking Bella up who then started panting and then I took her out and she was a bit poorly again last night. One step forward, one step back. I wasn't expecting to get better that fast. But um, I was only up once and that was at 3 a.m. again. Um, uh, yeah, and then this morning it absolutely bucketed it down as well as blowing a hoolie. So it wasn't forecast to rain. So I'm dithering now about what to do. Rice and chicken for Bella again this morning and more medicine, which we got from the vet the other day. And then it's supposed to be bright in St. David's today. So I might just head on over there, like I said last night, and just get on the road first things first it's breakfast time and of course there's no washing facilities here so I have to boil another kettle to have a wash and clean my teeth not for not with boiling water but you know clean my teeth and get dressed and all of those things all right night lines put away what do we say bells had your breakfast are we going to go outside in a minute Right, better get the willies on, seeing as it's been raining all night. Need a bit of a clean already, I think, these wellingtons, but anyway. And as you can see, I am a lone van in five or six pictures. A little bit of running around time, although she's old lady now, so she doesn't run all that much. Are you doing good running? You're faster than mummy anyway, aren't you? Yeah. So as you can see, she's not that poorly. She's still happy, tail in the air, wagging, running about. Anyway, so I think what I'm going to do now is make another cup of tea. <laughs> I haven't had my breakfast yet, so um, Bella's had hers. I've done the dishes. And then I think I'm going to have a look. I'll do a bit of research. See the best, easiest route to St David's. See if I can find a car park that will let me park the camper van. As you can see just over there, there's a picnic bench. There's also bins water and a chemical toilet but there are no showers here or toilets you need your own facilities basically It's a big burning! 
bit windy. Really, really windy. It's a little bit of lull in the wind here. Possibly lime kilns over there, I'm not quite sure. windy outside um, and I couldn't find a cafe that was open anyway come back to the van and I've put the kettle on so yeah I'm gonna have a quick cup of tea and then drive into St David's I think and have a little stroll there I've just done a little google about Solva and apart from the fact that it's a fishing port and very pretty apparently it's famous for its Welsh cakes uh, mamgu or something like that so when I drink my cup of tea I'm just gonna have a quick stroll it's a tiny tiny village it's just up on the left apparently so I'm going to go there and have a look. Well I found the shop and it's very cute and I have a selection of traditional and new flavours to try and I will test them out later. We're now heading out of Salva, hopefully towards St David's. Looks like I'm heading towards rain again. looking very pretty and the sun is currently out right, we've arrived in St David's we've parked some of the people in the motorhome helped me park because the pictures were angled literally walked two seconds from the car park, Maryvale car park. If you want to see the ruins and the cathedral, <laughs> it's such a beautiful place and the sun is shining, eh boss? Sun is shining. Yeah, she won't drink tap water but she'll drink the river. Wow. Right, well, this is going to have a view, so this is worth staying for two nights, right? Put a code in now. Arrivals. Welsh cakes in, eh? Traditional, triple chocolate, cranberry and orange, chilli and chocolate, or both of those are chocolate chip and orange as well, I think. Blood orange, possibly. Which would you choose first? Traditional Welsh cake. Mmm. Way better than the supermarket one I bought the other day. They are a, a strange texture. They're a kind of soft crumbly scone if that makes sense a bit closer there it's squidgier than a scone but a similar sort of taste i would say just a different texture maybe it would be good with jam and cream on the top <laughs> i'm 
have no idea how you're supposed to eat them. Maybe I should have Googled that as well. Anyway, I'm going to have my cup of tea and enjoy this. Speak to you later. Morning, guys. I have just been back over to the kitchen wash up. I'll take you over there in a minute and show you around. It's quite good. Uh, lots of big sinks and stuff. Anyway, just done my dishes. It is blowing a bit of a hoolie again. <laughs> The weather is forecast to be 20 odd degrees at the weekend. Still a bit breezy though, I think. But the sun is trying to break through at the minute. So I'm just gonna tidy up again. It was very windy last night. We didn't get much sleep. I'm starting to look like I've not slept for about a month, but it's fine. Um, we've had a lot of exercise. Bella, as you can see, is in her usual spot, enjoying a little post-breakfast snooze. I am gonna tidy all this mess up and then we're gonna wrap up warm and head along the coastal path which runs just outside there's a car park just outside the campsite which you can park at if you're not staying here and it takes you down either to the beach which is quite a steep climb some steps which i'm not going to risk with bella because she does pull me a little bit um, but the coastal path runs all the way along and i'm going to head over to st non's under recommendation from my friend and have a look around there as well maybe one more cup of tea who knows i am tea freak speaking to my sister-in-law this morning and she said am i keeping note of how i feel about my travels on my own and um the simple answer is no um apart from worrying about bella when she was poorly uh i haven't really panicked at all uh, i don't know whether it's because i'm on campsites maybe and i feel safe on a campsite maybe if i was wild camping i'd be a bit more nervous but as it is, I haven't worried at all. Um, the, the only worry I had was when I first picked up the van about being able to drive it easily. And that's been fine. I pretty much enjoyed every minute apart from the lack of sleep. So yeah, time for some more fresh air, which is exhausting in itself, I think. Speak to you later. This is the entrance to the dog walk and it's the best view for a dog walk I've ever seen. So as I say, there is a car park here, it is free. In one direction you can get to Solva where we were yesterday, 4.7 miles, and this way is Porth, if I can read it, Porth Clay, two miles the other way. We've arrived at St. Nons. It's very, very peaceful. And it's amazing in this weather, so imagine what it looks like in the sun. What do you say, Bows? Worth a little visit? chapel stands where St. Non, according to tradition, gave birth to St. David in the 6th century.
we are back and just in time because the heavens are just starting to open it really is windier than it has been all week of course we are on a cliff so i suppose that doesn't help matters but anyway i bet you can't guess what comes next hey <laughs> bella's had enough now haven't you bells <laughs> so yeah kettle on scrambled eggs and bacon i think so i've now finally made myself another cup of tea and i've got into bed well i've got under a blanket to keep warm bella's having a little snoozette i do need to brush her in a bit she's a bit tangled up from all the wind as am i by the looks of things <laughs> time to decompress the weather is awful it started to rain just as we got back so that was good timing really i'm glad i went this morning it's not cold it's just really windy <laughs> so right i'm gonna try if at all possible to catch up with a little bit of sleep because we haven't had very much for the whole week so far morning guys um yes we had another very very windy night last night but i think we were both so exhausted we slept through most of it the van was rocking quite a lot i do miss the steadies and there are no chocks or anything like that so we're on a slight slope it's not too bad but slight slope and very windy so a bit rough anyway i've just been and used the facilities i will put some footage in now for you of the shower block um it was a bit chilly in there i have to say it is push button on the shower but there's a lot of hot water and the pressure's really good so although i hate push button because they go off just as you've got soap in your eye or something yeah they are nice and hot first three blasts were freezing cold but obviously i was possibly the first person there because we we're up early um but yeah once it warmed up it was quite hot you can't adjust the temperature uh, it's just push button and that's your lot no temperature alteration so you can't even have a cold shower if you wanted one in the summertime <laughs> they're not very glamorous or anything but there's lots of things like wet wet suit washing which is harder <laughs> to say than you would imagine wet suit washing areas and uh, kids rooms and all that kind of stuff uh, i've got a bit of hay and why this afternoon late on anyway because that's where the camp next campsite is and then it only leaves me an hour's drive to get back to handing over the van i can't believe it's come around so quickly but yeah bella is in her usual position as you can see um yep yeah, having another post breakfast snooze we'll have a little stroll stretch her legs before we hit the road but first things first tidy up this is the washing up room there is a kettle, a hob, a toaster and a microwave and a fridge. There's also phone charging lockers. Well, the, I've arrived. I'm the only one here apparently and the, I can park wherever I like. So that is right up by the fence, presumably. and things on the door there. Well, we've just come out across the road from the campsite and there's a lovely little stream here. What can you hear? Sheep. I think there's sheep in that field. Don't freak me out now, Bill. <laughs> Woodland Trust. Well, it might not be very far, <laughs> but it is very steep. Doesn't really do it justice. That way, do you think? I want to get lost. It's a very steep walk. I'm not fit and I'm on my own. And although there are houses around, it's very quiet. So I think safety first. So I think we'll just head back down. Right, we're back to the van. Tied Bella up outside on the bench there. I'm just going to make uh, an espresso in this little coffee maker that they have in the van already. I'm going to plug in my barista maker. I've been decanting my milk into a flask because the fridge is not that... Oops, I can't get a lid off. I'm clumsy today. The fridge is not that big and a, a carton of milk takes up a lot of space and I do use quite a lot of milk I have to say throughout the day with my <laughs> endless cups of tea turn on I'm going to use my sad face mug because it's the end of my holidays 
Bella in the view. Well, another thing I thought I'd try, which I've never had before, is the Welsh cake, which is called Barra Brith. It looks like ginger cake, but I'm suspecting there's fruit in it. Well, that looks nice. I don't know. I will let you know when my coffee's ready. Hmm, I kind of forgot that steam comes out the side, but at least it's facing away from me, eh? Well, the Barabras, on first impression, tastes a bit like sticky toffee pudding, cold without the sauce. It's obviously got dates in it and it's really tasty. I do like fruitcake, but this is quite soft and I like sticky toffee pudding too. <laughs> Anything sweet in fact. But yeah, it's actually really nice and uh, it's moist and mm, yeah, delicious. Well, worth trying. What do you say, Bells? One of the things I've enjoyed most about this trip is being able to go wherever you want, whenever you want. Obviously I booked campsites so that sort of limited me a little bit. And on the whole I've had a fabulous time. Today I am feeling slightly homesick and I don't know whether that's just because I'm heading home tomorrow. Um, but yeah, weird. One of the greatest things I've discovered is the reason I love hills and mountains so much is the clouds could make fabulous patterns. See over here there's a patch of light and that's just moved from over here there's another patch of light and these clouds are scudding through really quickly and it's ever-changing. Looks fabulous. And I've had a fabulous time. I really really enjoyed it. And will I swap Hamish for a version of Dolly? Possibly, because it means I can go on little adventures, but it's not quite big enough for all four of us. So what I might do is hire something slightly bigger and see how I get on driving that. Can't get back to Hamish until March, um, and obviously the winter months are coming, so I don't know. I'll see. Morning, guys. Um, today is going home day. Uh, Doug came and joined me last night. Didn't want to be by himself at home, I don't think. In typical Bella's Big Adventure style, the weather is now improving. <laughs> but what a morning. I just recorded a time lapse of the sun coming up. It's absolutely beautiful here. Well worth a visit. Serenbach Campsite, it's called. So if you get the chance, do come and check it out. You can pretty much park anywhere in this field. Uh, there's no electricity, it's sort of back to basics kind of company. Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time away in Dolly. Uh, and I did, as I said before, hire her from Quirky Campers. So if you fancy hiring a camper van, give them a shout. Um, yes, this is Dolomiti, designed by Brown Bird Company. But I hope you've enjoyed the videos. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because then you won't miss any future updates. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.